been a tenor for what we've been ministering tonight and what's being what's been being released in the house but as we were ministering i heard the spirit of the lord say tonight i'm putting weight on the surrendered he said i'm putting weight on the surrendered and I know naturally, you know, we've seen surrender look like a certain something. And a lot of us don't want to surrender because I don't want to look like that. Or a lot of us shy away from what, they, what we feel like God is calling us into because, you know, we've seen it be done a certain way. But God is saying, if you'll just surrender into what I'm calling you to and let me lead. Listen, this is where we struggle in the body of Christ. We don't let Christ lead. We let our churches lead us. And what your church is called to may not necessarily be the thing that you're called to. You're called to be in that house and serve in that house. But the ultimate thing that God is trying to do for you may not necessarily look like what your church is called to do. So tonight the Father is saying, if you'll take a moment, lift your hands in this room. If you'll take a moment and just surrender to what I'm desiring to do for you. If you'll take a moment and just surrender to what I'm desiring to do for you. Those things that have been in your heart, I placed them there. And I know the world told you to fight it because that can't be God. But the, the, the dream just starts to get bigger and bigger the more you try to shut it down. Because God is like, what I said, I'm going to do. He said, I'm not a man that I should lie. So even if they tell you that's not what I'm saying, I'm not a man that I should lie. I cannot pull back what I called you to do. I cannot reverse what I put on the inside of you. I cannot. Make my, let my word be void because I said it I'm going to accomplish it in you said the spirit of the living God father in the name of Jesus tonight we surrender to your will tonight we surrender to your way tonight we surrender to your plan tonight we surrender to what you called us to do oh and even if mom and daddy said do it another way we follow you even if it breaks somebody else's heart I'll follow you even if it disappoints everybody around me, I'll follow you. I'll follow you. I'll follow you. Oh, whoa. That sounds weird. The Lord says, if you'll be willing to be a disappointment to them for me, I'll show you my hand for real. If you'll be willing to disappoint the crowd, if you'll be willing to disappoint friend and family, if you'll be willing to say, I don't care how you feel about it, I know what he called me to do. I know what he called me into. I know where he's telling me to go. For some of you, it's the marketplace. For some of you, it may be church ministry. But it's bigger. It's bigger. It's bigger. And it's getting bigger. And you have to, all you have to do is surrender to it. The more it grows, the more I surrender. The more he moves, the more I surrender. The more he says push, the more I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. Lift your hands and take a moment out of your own mouth and surrender to his will. Jesus said it this way. Let your kingdom come and let your will be done in the earth as it already is established in the heavens. What we've been doing is fighting against heaven's plan for our life. I won't fight what heaven said about me. I won't delay on what heaven has called me into. Come on, somebody open your mouth and just surrender unto him. Let your worship say, I surrender. I am thine, O Lord. I have heard your voice. I am thine, O Lord. I have heard your voice. I am thine, O Lord. I have heard your voice. And tonight, he said, the day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. We thought that was a sin scripture. He said, the day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. We thought that was just about salvation. But the day you hear my voice to the future, the day you hear my voice to the next place, the day you hear my voice calling you higher, harden not your heart. Come along with me. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. The Lord is opening up a new journey in the lives of his people tonight. He said, if you'll be willing to journey in with, journey with me, if you'll be willing to journey with me, if you'll be willing to, woo! Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna tell it just the way I just heard him say it. It's just like Peter when Jesus, when he said, when he said, Jesus, is that you? You know, can you bid me to come onto the water? What Peter was saying is, Father, if that's you out there, 
if you're there and you're calling me there, I'll be willing to journey with you into the uncomfortable place. This is what the Lord told me to tell you tonight. Your promise is simply this. You won't drown. Hear the word of the Lord. Your promise is you won't drown. And when it feels like you're going under, his promise is that you won't drown. I'll lift you up on top of what you believe is about to drown you. Sometimes the Lord lets us come close and come face to face with that thing that's after us so that he can help us step on top of it. I heard him say your limitations are about to become the ground floor for what I will do in the life of someone who will surrender to my will. One more time, lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we your sons and daughters tonight come declaring that we surrender to your will. We surrender to your way. We surrender to what you're calling us to. Not out of an emotional place, but out of a real place. Not out of an emotional place, but out of a real place. And I said that for a reason, because sometimes we feel like surrender has to feel like a certain something. We feel like, because you know, because we've seen church, we've been around church, we feel like my surrender has to look a certain way, or I need to shake and fall in the ground to say I'm surrender. But all he's asking you to do is just say yes when I call you. It's really not that hard. It's not difficult at all. He said, when I call you, say yes. Many of you know what it is to hear the voice of the Lord in a strange place. And you come to that place where you just like, uh, you know, God, I don't want them to look at me like that. So I'm going to just kind of deny you right now. I'll catch you later. God says, stop playing with me. I want what's mine. And that's what we keep forgetting that we're his. All the husbands in the room, you know what it's like when you call your wife and you say, I want what's mine. And she can't look at you crazy. God's like, listen, you, you mine. And I want what's mine. When God is calling you, all you have to do is just take a moment and say, you know what, Lord? I'll give you this time. I'll give you this time. For somebody in this room, I don't know who this is for. The Lord says your surrender tonight is going to do something in your daughter's molecular structure. I don't know who this is for. He said your surrender tonight is about to turn something in the life of your daughter. If that's you, can you, are you in, if that's you, can you just wave, wave your hand or come up here? If that's you, it could be somebody on live stream. I just know what I heard. Come, 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 come. If it's more than one, come. Come on. I'm just moving with God. I don't play about what I, what I hear God say. Father, in the name of Jesus, we don't know what it is tonight. I'm not even going to ask what it is. What I do know is that you have power and authority over it. <laughs> what I do know is whatever it is, you're greater than it. And yes, Lord. And the fear that's tried to rise in the life of your sons and daughters because of what you're doing. We break it now in the name of Jesus. We destroy it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. We destroy it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I heard the Lord say, I'm about to bring you into a season of so much peace. <laughs> This thing is about to get so peaceful because you're about to see my hand like you never have before. Father, in the name of Jesus, take a situation and turn it for your glory. Take a situation and turn it for your glory. Take a situation and turn it for your glory. 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 If you will, I need you to go crazy like I'm talking about you situation for your glory reverse a diagnosis for your glory let healing take place for your glory 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 somebody go crazy in this room because you believe the God that has the power to answer prayer the God who has the power to show up the God who has the power to make a thing that looks one way turn completely in your favor we play with that song because we're used to it now but he said I'll turn it in your favor glory to the lamb I don't want to move without doing this is there anybody that's up here I know we uh I know we made or in the room I know we made a call for people who wanted their fire rekindled but is there anybody in here who is not saved 
You never gave your life to the Lord Jesus. You never confessed Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Is there anybody in the room that's you? Can you come up here, please? And don't be ashamed of it. Don't be ashamed. Move, move, move. Come on, move. Is it anybody? Everybody in this room is saved? Okay, cool. What I'm going to do, we can just pray a general prayer and everybody can just pray it. And that'll cover it because may, maybe the person don't want to walk or whatever it may be. And that's fine too. So what the scripture says is, if you would confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised Christ Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Okay? This is the thing that I don't like about the church's sinner's prayer is because we try to put the focus on Lord Jesus I'm a sinner he never even asked for that he didn't even care about that that's not what the scripture says the scripture doesn't say confess that you're a sinner and I'll save you he said confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus he's he, he's what basically what he's saying is take your sinful self and bring your sin under my lordship what have we been doing for all of these years right father in the name of Jesus repeat after me Lord Jesus I confess that I believe with all of my heart that you are Lord, that you, that you died, and that, that God raised you from the dead. You said in your word that if I would confess it with my mouth and believe it in my heart that I am saved. So Father, I thank you for my salvation according to your word in the name of Jesus amen somebody give God praise for salvation somebody give him glory for salvation